Yo, now you back with another video? What was good with y'all, bro? We got a new video today, bro. Literally just got back from the post office. Cause see, we at our storage unit today, bro. And I got a story to tell y'all, bro. Y'all see today's title and thumbnail, bro. I'm going to tell y'all how I literally lost ten thousand dollars with my manufacturer. Feel me, like, bro. It's crazy because this happened while I was like, while I took my little break from YouTube. Like I wasn't recording, wasn't posting on YouTube. Literally, I lost mad money. Like I lost a lot of money with this manufacturer. So I'm gonna go go ahead and tell y'all this story. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all how I lost almost ten thousand dollars with my manufacturer, and none of it was my fault. I I know y'all probably like, bro. It was some of it was probably your fault, but no, literally it was not my fault. Like. I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you. Y'all gonna see later in the video why it's not my fault on how I lost 10K. So, I ain't gonna do too much talking, bro. If y'all new, make sure I that like button and subscribe. Feel me? I also gotta pack some orders today, too, as well. So, I'm gonna do that while I'm packing orders. I'm gonna tell y'all whole everything that happened. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the storage unit, bro. So, yeah, if y'all new, make sure I that like button subscribe, bro. And let's get straight into this intro, bro. I said it like, yeah, my time near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to lay head up. Tight jet, I go infinity and beyond, but it's like, yeah. Three cross for the Trinity, ain't no fuck in the guy fair. Yo, we spinning this shit up, yo, yo, I seen it up on the street. I'm bringing score up with honesty, yo. I'm in that job, you can spit up. I let him know it's the policy, yo. He cut a chest so he do sit ups, yo. I play with this sound against oddity, yo. So, gotta get my stuff, get my phone. Hold on, let me put this down real quick. Got my phone. I literally just dropped my phone, but it ain't break. So, we got, we good. Feel me? Yeah, currently like, it's like 4 o'clock right now. I just got out of school like two hours ago. I'm finna show you. Yo, what happened? But yeah, we got new boxes too. This is all the orders I need to pack, so I'm just about to sit down and talk to y'all with this. We got some more boxes here as well of inventory. These are literally all full. Like, yeah, we gotta finish packing out these orders. Let me go ahead and just turn on the light real quick. This is the fit of the day, off-white fives at the bottom wash jeans north face jacket so yeah and also yo i gotta show y'all something bro before we get into this video i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this sample because yes y'all see this bro y'all like yo what hoodie is that bro? if y'all ain't know i got two clothing brands right y'all know i started agonized on this youtube like i literally made a video like y'all could go see me getting this manufacturer yes this is the same manufacturer so if y'all want to go watch that video for this manufacturer y'all could go get it because it's the same manufacturer but y'all know agonized is my clothing brand that I started off of YouTube. So, uh, my first video of Agonize was starting another clothing brand. Y'all can literally go see all these videos. I posted my whole journey on YouTube. If y'all wanna go watch the journey of me starting Agonize, y'all can. And the sample came in today. So, if y'all know, this is the Agonize zip, feel me? Nice little logo. The logo is wrong though. So, the manufacturer actually did mess up on this logo. I had two manufacturers, right? And the other manufacturer, the blank was trash. Like, it was mad thin. Everything, it was thin. I just didn't want to wear it. It wasn't thick. The acid wash wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. So, that manufacturer did the logo good. This manufacturer, the blank is good. Like, it's good quality. But the logo is placed wrong. Like... I'm gonna put up a y'all gonna see a picture on the screen of what it's supposed to look like right here. The logo is supposed to look like bright red, all that, and y'all can just see that like the placement is off and everything. So that's that. I ordered the bulk and I told the manufacturer just fix it, change the placement to like because this is supposed to be way bigger, like right here. These, but nice and bright, vibrant, all of that. And these are supposed to be bigger as well. That manufacturer messed up, but this is the sample. You're going away is a nice nice fit let me know if y'all like it down below let me go ahead and set this up i'm gonna go ahead and set this up so i could tell y'all this story no last video my dang life video i was talking about how my manufacturer was bad and how i didn't want to use them no more so i'm mean, this is literally exactly why i'm not going to use them no more i'm not going to say the name of the manufacturer but if you know my manufacturer then you know my manufacturer I'm trying to give no hate to no manufacturer this is just personally off my experience i'm gonna pick up the camera when i got everything set up Okay, okay. Hey, hey, I'm gonna. I bet so. I know I said I was gonna pack some orders while I did it, but it's 527 right now. 
And look, bro. First things first, bro. Before we get into this video, how I lost up to ten thousand dollars with this manufacturer. Let me go ahead and explain y'all basically the the backstory of the like relationship with me and my manufacturer, bro. So boom. First things first, bro. Me and my manufacturer, we had like ever since like my statement has been going crazy. We started to do this method called made to order, right? So boom, made to order. If you guys don't know what made to order is, basically these hoodies, bro. These hoodies went crazy viral so i didn't want to stop selling them and i didn't want to keep opening and closing the site so what i did was i had my manufacturer up i asked him if he could do made to order method instead of pre-order and pre-made it's kind of in between both of them it's like faster than pre-order but it's not pre-made so let's say you go to the website right now right you cop a hoodie and when you cop the hoodie the night of like let's say i cop a hoodie right now right and it's 529 and then later on today around like 10 p.m i'll send my manufacturer a list of all the orders that we was getting daily so back in the summer we had started it and back in the summer i was getting around like 100 orders every single day right 80 to 100 orders every single day literally it wasn't below 80 it wasn't higher than like 100 or something it was in between 80 to 100 so boom Every single day, I'm sending my manufacturer, okay, here's 60 more orders. Here's 80 more orders. Every single day, it's a new list. Every single day around like 10, 9 p.m., it's a new list. So that's what made to order is, right? It was like a Monday to Friday thing. Like every Friday, he would ship out the orders, right? So let's say right now you order from my site and it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday right now, feel me? I put the order in tonight around 10 p.m. I'll put your order in. Oh, I need this amount of hoodies, right? And then Wednesday, there's a list. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, every single day, I'm sending him a new list. So on Friday, he sends out all the hoodies from that week. And I know that seems like a lot, but like he was able to do it. He could. He was doing it good for, you know what I'm saying, a couple months. And then... Hey, that messed everything up, bro. So boom, we're doing a made to order, made to order, made to order. The whole summer is going vibe, is going straight. Feel me? Pre-order take it took like about two to three weeks max to ship out every single to ship out everything like to the customer for me to the customer going all good and then september comes by bro my guy talking about some yo we got a holiday so i can't ship out anything this week and i'm like you know what that's fine i would just hit up customers and tell them yo like yo it's gonna be a week delay because he has a holiday little did i know bro it was more than a week delay so i'm over here like the week has gone by right and it's currently like the next week and all that. So I'm like, okay, can we resume? Can we resume? Can you ship out, ship out and ship out? So he's shipping out the orders, right? And I always have gotten like missing orders from him. Like a lot of orders has always been missing. Throughout the whole summer, I was always missing a lot of orders. So it was July and I was shipping out orders from early June because he like literally was delayed. After that holiday period, he was literally delayed. And he didn't even ship out what's it called because we called them lists right so every day sending them new list new list so i'm thinking he didn't even make half of these lists because i'm over here august still shipping out orders for july and june so i'm like bro why am i missing so many orders so i'm over here like it's august and i'm shipping out orders from june bro if you should be shipping out every single week so i'm texting him, i'm like he was telling me how oh you probably forgot to select a few i wasn't getting none of that wrong bro i did not forget to do none of that so i was telling him i'm like okay how can i mess up up if because I, I was shipping at power ship at the time i was using power ship and if you know you can see the direct size the direct literally everything and you can see all the orders you got that day so i wasn't even counting on myself i was using pirate ship bro and y'all know bro are you gonna trust pirate ship or your manufacturer's word august right and i'm like bro like we gotta do something about these missing orders you must have not shipped out let's take a setback you know what i'm saying a month right so it was july and i'm still shipping out orders for june feel me so mid-july i'm still shipping out orders for june and all that stuff y'all heard it, it was it went from august so in july i was telling him yo i'm still missing orders from june that was supposed to be shipped out weeks ago where they at where they at he was telling me yo 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 trust brother trust if y'all know the man trust boss he was like trust boss we be shipping them out trust just give me some time they will be shipped out to you next next time you get the boxes all of it will be done so i was in july and in july mid-july he told me that next time i get my packages my boxes of bulk i will be able to ship out all the june orders so that's what he told me so guess what happened i wait another week get the boxes it's only like eight boxes bro feel me it was eight boxes so i'm like how am i supposed to ship out this month's orders 
in last month's orders with eight boxes. And just for example, like this is a box. Do y'all see these boxes? These are literally like all like eight of these boxes. Y'all can see it's big, but that's not fulfilling two months worth of orders. And I'm like, and every single time I send them a list, I pay for it. So it's not like, cause I, I trust them, but like, it's not like, yo, like you didn't send the money. So you didn't ship it. I'm sending them money. I'm sending him thousands of dollars every single day. Every day, everything is paid for. He just got to make it and ship. He was doing good till we hit July, bro. In mid July, he told me, yo, those eight boxes, whatever, whatever they come in, you're going to be able to ship out the June orders. So now it's like mid July. I get those eight boxes and I start how I ship is I do it from like the earliest date, like taking the longest. I ship them out first. I got to go up from down. So I was shipping out all the june boxes with all those eight boxes i shipped out at least like from the beginning of june to like the end of june feel me so it's like the 20th of june and i have till mid july i have these orders to ship so i'm like bro and no i was supposed to get everything like from late june to mid july i was supposed to get all of that so i'm like yo bro where's these orders i'm missing mad orders like it's supposed to be like 20 boxes bro i sent him the list i'm like okay these are missing if you complete these if you complete this list i will have nothing missing and i'm telling him I, my thing was with him bro like i'm already paying you you just not sending me all the stuff like i sent him all it's not even me getting free stuff because i already paid for it so it's not like oh you trying to get free stuff free stuff oh no, I already paid you for it, bro. You're just not sending the correct amount out. I tell him, yo, bro, you ain't send me this list. Like, at this point, it's like the end of July. And I'm still missing orders from late June. So I'm like, you know what? Just send me all. I sent him a list of everything, bro. Just send me this. And we, you know what I'm saying? We could restart. Send me this list and we'll be caught right back up because I'm delayed. Like, it's the end of July and I'm shipping out late June orders. How does that make sense? And I'm sending him list every single day. The list with money every single day, bro. So he tells me he goes ahead and makes the list, right? I sent him the exact amount. He makes the list, right? Throughout this time, I'm getting comments. Yo, order, order. Where's my order? Where's my order? I'm trying to explain that to my customers too as well. I was emailing him. Make sure y'all email y'all customers too, bro. Make sure y'all really email y'all customers. Because I was emailing my customers. I'm like, bro, my manufacturer's delaying. Manufacturer's delaying. And you know some customers not going to believe you because it was a bunch of people saying that they was delaying. I was posting on my Instagram, sending emails out everything i'm like bro this manufacturer at this point it's taking a month for the hoodies to come in bro like people from late june it's late july and they still didn't get their order so people are upset that literally made everything go down bro i try to respond to every single body bro i promise you so people is over here charged back and that's making me lose more money bro and on this side bro i'm like bro where's my stuff where's my stuff where's my stuff like if you're not finna give me my stuff i'm not finna work with you no more bro late july so he tells me okay brother okay 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 wait till this next shipment you get it's gonna be done. Everything you get is gonna be done. So I wait till the next shipment. Cause you know I'm I'm locked in, right? He tells me, okay, I'm not gonna have no more no more missing orders. So I post on my Instagram. That was one mistake I did, bro. I should have never posted before I got actually got it, cause I really didn't know. So he sends me the boxes, right? I post on Instagram before I get the boxes. Yo, everything being shipped out. If your order was delayed, everything being shipped out this week. I get the boxes this week. Guess what? It's late July. I only got orders till like 10th of July. Not even the beginning of July, the 10th. I would say like the 20th to July 10th. That section of orders got shipped out and I'm still missing orders. By this time, it's August, early August. And I'm still shipping out orders from July 10th, bro. So I'm like, bro, there's something you're doing wrong. Like, come on, send me my stuff, bro. And I'm like, bro, it's delayed, it's delayed, it's delayed, bro. Every single time. So I'm telling him, I'm telling him, yo, send me this, send me this, send me this, bro. Send me, I need these hoodies, bro, because I can't ship out without these hoodies bro and it was some instance it was sometimes where he would ship out the hoodies and not the shorts bro so i had orders from june i had orders from like beginning of june late july from short orders i never got in the missing i kept telling him ship out these shorts these shorts need to be shipped it's been it was like three months that whole summer it was like everything was like one month shipping because everything was delayed and every single time he'll tell me he's shipping out orders every single time that i got boxes it would still be delayed because he missed i i swear he missed like a week or something it was a week's worth of list that he missed that he couldn't get like he did not sh send out to me so i'm like bro there's no way i'm missing this many orders i'm sending you the bread like q send me my stuff bro i got fed up with it around september to like 
early October. Late September, early October. That's why I was fed up with it. Because in September, I was still shipping out orders from July, bro. So I'm like, bro, this is not, you know what I'm saying? This is, honestly, I was telling, bro, I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to leave. Like, you going crazy, you doing. He was just telling me, yo, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So I tell him, you know what? I'm about to close the site. I'm literally closing the site. I ain't gonna cap. Come on, bro. You, I'm missing so many orders at this point. I think it was around like 200 to 300 hoodies, right? So I told him, you know, I'm closing the site so we could get everything fixed. I don't know. I should have closed the site way earlier than that. But it was October. I was still shipping out orders from late July. And I was, bro, I was mad, bro. I'm like, bro, send me my stuff. Like, I literally had a stack of labels like this of hoodies I did not have. Y'all see these? Racks were empty, right? And I had, like, this amount of orders left. And I'm like, bro, there ain't no way, bro. And yes, y'all probably wondering, like, oh, maybe you didn't send them the, send them the money. Maybe you didn't do this. Maybe you didn't do that. I'm telling y'all, I sent him exact amount, bro. I'm telling you. Something wasn't right. Every single time you would tell me the how much boxes was coming in, I was like, bro, how was that even possible? I sent you this, this, and this. Like, how was 100 hoodies fitting in four boxes? That don't make sense to me. Like, it's not making sense. Empty shelves with this amount of orders left. And I already sent everything. Feel me? I closed the website. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to send you a list today. Ship out. out. The website's closed, so he's not getting no more lists. So I told him, no more lists. Ship out everything today, bro. I told him, yo, I'm not selling these hoodies no more. Send what you have. Send me everything. I sent him the missing orders list. The infamous missing orders list. I sent him this list. So I'm like, you know what? These are all orders. These are all orders from July. August, September, I send them the list. I remember it was a total of 326 hoodies, bro. I sent him the list and he says, brother, we cannot do that. Brother, we cannot do that, bro. And I'm like, bro, how, what you mean you can't do that? What you mean you can't do that? He says, brother, we cannot do that. So I'm like, yo, what? My heart dropped. I'm like, are you serious right now? I'm like, bro, I've been working with you this whole time, bro. Are you serious? And I'm like, I'm telling him, yo, I sent you the money. Where's my stuff? And I'm sending him long paragraphs, bro. I'm like, and no, it's I'm in school. No, no. I remember this, bro. I was in biology class, bro. When I got that text, brother, we cannot, bro. When I'm telling you, bro, and plus in my school, school, we got to know on um, phone. So you can't have phones in class. I pick up my phone, check the time. It says, brother, we cannot do that. I'm like, whoa, 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 mid class. I pull out my phone, bro. I'm like, I, I get to typing like this. Y'all know I get to typing like this. I'm try harder on my phone. I'm literally typing so fast. And the teacher over here talking about like, yo, um, you gotta get off your phone, get off your phone. And I'm just ignore, I'm ignoring her, bro. I'm like, bro, my manufacturer just told me he can't make 326 hoodies that I already paid for. He's saying that it's not his fault. What do you mean it's not your fault, bro? It is your fault. You didn't make the hoodies I was sending. He just couldn't keep up. I'm like, bro, there's no way because like I told him I'm not paying to get those 300 plus hoodies made. I'm not paying for that because I already paid for it over time. Like I already paid for those hoodies. Why am I paying out of pocket again for these hoodies that you missed? Like, think about that. Let me know in the comments, bro. Let me know in the comments if y'all doing that, bro. I'm not doing that. So it's mid-class. I'm over here like, yo, the teacher like, can you please get off your phone, get off your phone? I'm just not getting on my phone, bro. I'm losing thousands of dollars, bro. I'm not getting on my phone, bro. So when I get home, I'm texting my manufacturer all day on the bus because this was before I had my driver's license. So I'm on the bus texting my manufacturer. I'm like, nah, nah, I can't do this. Like, I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not paying that money, bro. I'm not paying that money. Because, bro, these are missing orders. And it's like, literally, this was going for like two days. So it's like, bro, I, the website's closed. People are waiting for their order. And I don't have no hoodies here. And I just need those 300 to ship out. So I'm like, bro. So he was telling me, he was like, bro, I can't do that because it was too much hoodies. But I'm like, bro, I already paid you for it. Literally, if you make it, everything will be done, bro. Like, I already paid, bro, for it. But he was too determined that he already sent him. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not arguing with you, bro. Like, there was literally nothing I could do, honestly. So what I, he had told me, okay, we could get in the call. We could figure this out. We got in the call. We analyzed it. We analyzed it. We analyzed it. Yes, he was missing orders. But at the end of the day, he still told me, brother, I can't do all this because it was too much cost of materials, bro. If I was just to pay it, everything gets sent out. I ship out everyone's order. Happy ending. But I'm like, bro, I'm not paying that much, bro. So what he had told me, he had came to agreement. He told me that we could split it 50-50, bro. And so he paid that half and I paid that half. So I'm like... 
bro, like, that's just crazy, honestly. And at this time, I'm getting charged back. Like, I'm not gonna lie at this point. At the point, I had like 40 chargebacks, bro. I ain't even gonna catch. So it was stacking up. Like, I'm literally, it was just a week where I'm just losing, losing, losing money, bro. Losing money because of all this one situation. I, at this point, I'm like, I'm never working with you again, bro. Like, honestly, that was crazy. How do you miss that much amount of orders? You don't even realize it yourself, bro. And I knew for a fact, bro, he was missing those orders. Because, like, you don't, like, I'm sending you lists every single day. How do you miss him? Honestly, how do you miss him? Y'all probably were like, yo, Yash, you should have been left, been left, been left, right? So boom, after this whole situation done, I paid the 50%. He sent out the hoodies. I think it was like 18 boxes for like 300 something hoodies, bro. He sent out the hoodies. I shipped them out. At this point, that whole time, I ain't gonna lie. Wait, I lost around like 9 to 11K. I had to close my website to get caught up on orders from July, August. No, y'all know how much how much I could have made if there was no comment saying, nah, bro, taking a long time, bro. Like, shipping is one month. Like, everybody was commenting that on my TikTok, on my Instagram. And I was trying to explain myself, bro. I'm just honestly, I'm just never working on them, bro. After I get these orders out, I'm done with them. I'm going to pre-made. This taught me a lot. I ain't gonna lie. These past few months, when I haven't been on YouTube, bro, I've literally just been trying to get all of this out bro i've been trying to take away the problems bro and one of the problems was that manufacturer and doing made to order bro made to order is good but if you get a good manufacturer to do it bro i learned my lesson never work with that manufacturer again never do made to order never do that so yeah fortunately bro that is the, that's the end of it bro quick little update everybody if you guys want to be featured in my subscribers p.o box opening everybody if you got a clothing brand and you watching this majority of people watching has got a clothing brand so if you got a clothing brand and you want me to rate your piece on this channel go down to the link in the description and send your pieces to my p.o box yes i have a p.o box once y'all send y'all pieces bro i'm gonna do be doing a good big p.o box opener bro so if you guys want to send your pieces the sizes everything down below my p.o box down below ship it out to me unfortunately that is the end of this video bro make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe Thank you all for 7K, bro. Bro, we gotta get into our little outro, bro. We gotta get into our little outro, bro. Statement? Mr. Fortune, it just hit another lick again. I said I never trick again. The lies just didn't stick again. I booked it at the wrist again. I chose the one with tits again. I bet my last on what I couldn't see to watch it flip again.